Ice Lake City, New Babbage, Microtech. This video has been a while in the making, not because this location in Star Citizen is particularly hard to get to, in fact it's one of the starter city choices, but because it's such an iconic place, it felt only appropriate to spend some time to do it justice. This video will not talk about bugs or ship sails, instead it will focus on celebrating one of the environments in the sandbox of Star Citizen. So, wrap up warm, request landing clearance, and cosy up whilst we enjoy New Babbage. I'm Farrister, and this channel regularly looks at the locations in Star Citizen, so if you'd like to see more YouTube videos like this, then the subscribe button can be your friend. First introduced in patches Alpha 3.8 and 3.9 in late 2019 to early 2020, New Babbage is the city on the frozen lake. There is a theme from the in-game manufacturer Microtech who own the planet and operate much of the city, as well as clear inspirations from other franchises and ice planets that may or may not be shown in a popular 1980 movie. For the in-game Metro Loop there are three primary destinations, the New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport on the far side of the lake, the Aspire Grand, the tall looming residential complex where players can spawn or visit the hospital, and the Commons, which is the main shopping district of the city. During Expo season, the Tobin Expo Centre also sometimes hosts events like the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. Across New Babbage there are lots of windows to draw attention to the picturesque, albeit frosty landscape that the city is set amongst, but since the community already has a space architect capable of talking expertly about the building styles, perhaps it's more sensible to pivot to what makes the city so special. And in part, what makes New Babbage special is the mix of down-to-earth, terrestrial vibes with a hope for a brighter, cleaner future. Whereas other cities in Stanton, like Lawville or Arcorp, do have a somewhat Earth-like element to them, they're industrial or overdeveloped, whereas New Babbage feels like a genuinely pleasant place to live or visit. The mountains behind help to give a sense of scale and wonder, whilst the lake up front gives a more worldly feel, as if the location for the city was carefully chosen to have easy access to fresh water, or in this case, ice. And snowy trees blowing in the wind nearby add to that natural vibe, it feels like the air here would be crisp and fresh to breathe. As with many places in Star Citizen, some of the most impressive views happen at sunrise and sunset. There is definitely a corporate feeling to New Babbage, but it's a clean, technology company sort of corporate feel, like what you might expect from Apple or Google. Lots of the rooftops have landing pads which helps to make New Babbage feel like a more explorable location for players too, without artificial no-fly zones where they don't need to be. All of these elements together make the Ice Lake City one of my favourite places to visit in Star Citizen. But do you agree? I look forward to reading your thoughts in the video comments. Oh, and if this video was a nice place to visit, you might be kind enough to press that like button so I know to make more videos of a similar nature in future. Otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.